uh, let's talk to this bloke. He knows more about history of Ipswich than the people in Ipswich who know the history. And he's called <laughs> Harry H. Peacock. And he's talked. To, he's told us some great yarns over the last uh, few months. Mm. And he's going to tell us about extreme sports like drafts. Mm. How are you, Harold? Oh, fantastic. Thanks, Danny. Well, how'd you be, eh? Have you got any complaints about me too? Just take them through to the owner, all right? Now, uh, Harold, tell us about the drafts fella that came to Ipswich in 1890, a long time ago. Yeah, look, first, Danny, I'd, I'd hesitate to say extreme sport, mm. but drafts was <laughs> definitely a major sport in the late 19th century and early 20th century. Is, is, is that, is in, that uh, a fact, Ipswich. drafts? Oh, it was huge. Like, there were world champions, uh, like the likes of Herd Laddie, who was James Wiley from Scotland. He dominated as world champion for 40 years <laughs> and toured the globe, taking all comers. It was a professional sport, Danny, because when Wiley visited Melbourne in 1887, he was given a purse of gold sovereigns to play against locals. So the Herd Laddie, when he came to Brisbane and his matches in 1890, uh, with, with, with the then Queensland champion Robert Ma, they became the stuff of legend. Wow. So was that popular? Because, you know, back in the day, cycling was absolutely massive in the 1920s and 30s. It was massive, massive crowds. It's funny how they go through their eras. Well, the massive crowd came to Ipswich too because the story goes that uh, it, well, it comes to Ipswich because before the big contest, the Queensland champion Robert Ma came to Ipswich to challenge the locals because he was looking for sparring partners to get ready for his match-up with the famous Herd Laddie. Well, I saw so one this the morning. Oh, I saw one of those sparring partners in this main street of Brisbane, Brisbane Street. Okay, well, this wasn't in the main street. This was in the Hague's rooms above Nicholas Street. And it was on the 25th of February, 1890, which is, I think, a, a key date in the, in the history of drafts in Ipswich because spectators were charged one shilling each to see Robert Maher play 11 of Ipswich's best drafts players, and, and he beat them all. Is there any famous but, drafts players in Ipswich? Any names? Oh, look, a, a, absolutely. In, in fact, I, I'll, I'll cover that because he, he, he was Ipswich captain and one of the founders of the clubs here, but... Two days after that match against Ipswich, yeah. uh, that's when Ma faced off against the world champion James Wiley in Brisbane. Now, the contest went four days and oh. was reported to Australia-wide. <laughs> the, the, the Queenslander more than held his own against the world champion. He won one match by five wins to four, mm -hmm. but lost the second four to two. Wow. Now, Ma went on to become the champion of Australasia and achieve his own legendary status. Mm -hmm. He remained undefeated as Australasia champion for 17 years wow. until his death in 1911. And more than a quarter of a century later, Ma's draft board was mm -hmm. proudly owned and being referred to as the most historic board in Australia because of the one in which the undefeated Queensland Australasian champion played his great matches against the world champion. And they always but, had they always had coals because they was in the drafts. Yeah, look, well, apparently. But in Ipswich, uh, which uh, hopefully wasn't in the draft, but his visit to, to Mars, uh, visit Ipswich energised great things in the sport here. Uh, and one of Mars, Mars' sparring partners, 1890, and you asked about the great names of Ipswich drafts, was George Allen. He is one of the founders of the Ipswich Drafts Club, and it was like a community lead. He was uh, you know, president of the Chamber of Commerce and so on. But Mars' matches here at Ipswich helped energise the Ipswich Club. Mm. So that three years later, mm. George Allen captained Ipswich to its first ever win over arch rivals Brisbane. And where is and that the, draft board? Well, look, it's being tracked down now it's, because it's an historic item, because it really did host the most historic draft matches in Australian history. Mm. Uh, but he, the, the Brisbane Club, and that was Robert Maher included that, was the best in Australia at the time when Ipswich beats them because it boasted the reigning Queensland draft champion, the Australasian youth champion, uh, although it must be said Robert Maher set out that contest and acted as an umpire of the day. But it doesn't matter. Ipswich won. And it was reported that the Ipswich visitors returned by the late train, highly pleased with their victory. What? Danny, the 1890s was a golden era for the sport of drafts in Ipswich. Let's start drafts off in Ipswich again. We'll get them in the middle of Lang Park there and all the pack the crowd at 40,000. State of origin drafts. It sounds all right to me. We'll have to draft the people, but Now, listen, 
What is the name of your website? Because it is brilliant. That's brilliant. No, I'm not making this up. That is great content. It is interesting, and we look forward to it each week. Harold H. Peacock. Where, where can we get your website? Yeah, Danny. It's at historyoutthere.com. Talking about history, it's 8.30. Here is the news.